This video will show the basics of requesting and copying IFR clearances as well as reading them back. The controllers in the video are all current or former air traffic controllers. Let's start with some basics of copying a clearance. When an IFR clearance is read by ATC, it's going to follow a standard format, and an acronym to help recognize that format is CRAFT. The C is a clearance to a fix or an airport. The R is the route or the routing you're going to take to get there. The altitude, you're going to get an initial altitude and an expect altitude. F is frequency or departure frequency, and the T is transponder or squat code. Another tip in copying down clearances is to use shorthand abbreviations. These are the common abbreviations I use. The easiest method, come up with your own that you understand. Everyone uses slightly different abbreviations, but there's no right or wrong way to do it. If ATC gives you a fix in the clearance that you don't know how to spell, try to spell it and be sure to ask for clarification on the spelling before you read back the complete clearance. If departing from an airport with lots of departure procedures, read through the list of departure procedures so when you're given one different than what you filed, you'll at least know what it is when they say the name of it. And if the controller reads you your clearance, it's too fast and you only caught part of it, do not hesitate to ask the controller to slow down the next time they read it to you. After the clearance is copied, if you're uncertain about anything on the clearance, be sure to ask air traffic control for clarification. Before requesting an IFR clearance, be sure to listen to the ATIS. When requesting an IFR clearance, say the name of the facility, say your full call sign, request IFR, and then the location you're going to. The city name can be used, but you can also use the airport's three or four letter identifier. And it will sound like this. Lakeland Ground, November 784, Tango Charlie, request IFR, Charlie Lima Tango. November 784, Tango Charlie, cleared to Charlotte Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 2000. Expect flight level 24010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.9, squawk 0536. November 784 Tango Charlie is cleared to Charlotte as filed 2240 10 minutes after 119.9, 0536. November 4 Tango Charlie, read back correct. Also, when copying a clearance, I don't write down the tail number nor the destination. We have the route the altitude, the frequency, and the squat code. Keep the readback simple, read back the numbers. You don't need to say things like, climb and maintain 2000, expect 240 10 minutes after departure. You can just say 2000, fly level 240 10 minutes after. For departure, you can just say 119.9 and the squawk 0536 without saying squawk. Bradley International has a clearance delivery frequency, so we'll call for our clearance on 121.75. Bradley Clearance, November 784, Tango Charlie, request IFR, Oscar, Romeo, Delta. November 784, Tango Charlie, Bradley Clearance, partial full route clearance, advise ready to copy. Partial full route clearance. In the first clearance we heard, cleared as filed. Partial full route clearance means we're going to get an amendment to the route we filed, and then at some point we're going to get a fix, and then we're going to hear, then as filed after that fix. 784, Tango Charlie is ready to copy. November 784, Tango Charlie, cleared to Chicago O'Hare Airport via the Bradley 6 departure. Radar vectors to Chester, Charlie Tango Romeo, direct Cambridge, Charlie Alpha Mike, Quebec 822, to Gons, Golf Oscar, November Zulu Zulu, then as filed. Maintain 4000, expect flight level 360, minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.35, squawk 3154. 784 Tango Charlie is cleared to Oscar Romeo Delta. Bradley 6, radar vectors. Charlie Tango Romeo, Charlie Alpha Mike, Quebec 822. Gons, then is filed. 4,360, 10 minutes after. 125353154. And then ATC would come back with readback correct. Just like Bradley International, Kansas City International also has a clearance delivery frequency, 135.7. So for practice, this clearance is going to sound very much like the previous clearance. So I'm not going to write anything on the screen. I will write what I wrote down for the clearance after it's read. November 784 Tango Charlie International Clearance. Cleared to the Dallas Love Field via the Racer 3 departure to SOA transition as filed. Maintain 10,000. Expect flight level tree 4010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 124.7, squawk 2177. Question. Did you know how to spell DeSoa? Me neither. But when given a departure, 
and then a particular transition, that is going to be listed on the departure procedure, like in this case here. So you can find the spelling of DeSoa easily, and you're gonna have to look at the departure anyway, so that's one I won't even ask for the spelling of. And here's what I wrote down. November 74, Tango Charlie's cleared to Dallas by the Racer 3, DeSoa transition as filed, 10,000, fly level 340, one zero minutes after, 124.7, 2177. And if correct, ATC would say 784 Tango Charlie, read back correct. Here we are at an uncontrolled airport. The chart does not have any information on where to pick up our IFR clearance. Instrument approach plates will sometimes list a center or approach frequency, but it still won't tell you if you can pick up that frequency on the ground or not. So what else could we do? The answer, chart supplement and go to the clearance delivery phone line. And it states for clearance delivery, if unable to contact on flight service station frequency, contact Los Angeles Air Route Traffic Control Center at this phone number. Let's say we called San Diego Radio on the remote communication outlet frequency and we did not get an answer. We would now need to call Los Angeles over the phone. So when the checklist is completed and you're ready to depart, you would pick up the phone and call that number and say, 784 Tango Charlie's on the ground at Imperial, IFR, Ontario. November 784 Tango Charlie cleared from the Imperial Airport to the Ontario Airport via the Imperial Obstacle Departure Procedure, Imperial Vortac, Victor 458, Julian, Direct Homeland, Direct Pettis, Direct. Climb and maintain 8000. Expect flight level 220, 10 minutes after departure. Contact Los Angeles Center on 128.6, Squawk 7553. 784 Tango Charlie is cleared to Ontario via the Imperial. Obstacle departure procedure, Imperial VOR, Victor 458, Julian. I missed the two fixes after that. 8,000, 220, 10 minutes after, 128.67553. And it does happen, the controller will read the clearance too quickly. And if you miss a fix, keep writing and then ask for clarification after you read back what you have. Direct Homeland, Direct Pettis, Direct. Chances are, if this is the route you filed, you're going to know how to spell those fixes. If not, ask the controller how to spell those fixes. Then the controller would spell out the fixes phonetically, and you would read them back. And then at the end, they would say, read back correct. At this point, you would say you're number one for departure on runway 32. If you don't tell the controller what runway you're departing from and how soon you're ready to depart, they will ask you. And then ATC will reply, released. Clearance void, if not airborne, by 0530 Zulu. Time now 0510 Zulu. If not off by 0530 Zulu, advise Los Angeles Center no later than 0540 Zulu of intentions. So the last part of the transmission was a clearance void time. The controller is just telling you the clearance he just gave you and that you're released is void if you don't take off by a certain time. He also gave the current time. And if you don't take off by that certain time, advise Los Angeles Center by another certain time. And if you don't, they might think you took off and they might come looking for you. So let's listen one more time. Released, clearance void, if not airborne by 0530 Zulu. Time now 0510 Zulu. If not off by 0530 Zulu, advise Los Angeles Center no later than 0540 Zulu of intentions. The read back would be November 74 Tango Charlie released, void if not off by 0530, advise Los Angeles Center no later than 0540 Zulu. For the last clearance, I will show the route on the low and root chart. The clearance will be read. After the first clearance is read, there will be a seven second gap to give you time to write down the clearance. Then the clearance will be read again by the controller, and then I will show what I wrote down. John Wayne clearance, November 784 Tango Charlie, IFR Santa Barbara. November 74, Tango Charlie, clear to the Santa Barbara Airport via on departure flight heading 195. Expect vectors to Santa Catalina, then Victor 208 Ventura, the Ventura 282 radial to Quang, then direct. Climb and maintain 3000. Expect 10,000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 2636. November 74, Tango Charlie, clear to the Santa Barbara Airport via on departure flight heading 195. Expect vectors to Santa Catalina, then Victor 208 Ventura, the Ventura 282 radial to Quang, then direct.
Climb and maintain 3,000. Expect 10,000, 10, 000, 10 000 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 2636. 784 Tango Charlie is cleared to Santa Barbara, heading 195, radar vector Santa Catalina, Victor 208, Ventura, the Ventura 282 radial, Quang, direct, 3,000, 10,000, 10 minutes after departure, 128.1, 2636. November 784 Tango Charlie, read back correct. So there are some IFR clearances. For more information, you can look in the AIM under ATC Clearances and Aircraft Separation, the Instrument Procedures Handbook, and the Instrument Flying Handbook, all free on the FAA's website. Thank you to all the air traffic controllers that helped make this video, and also be sure to check out their social media pages. And last of all, thanks for watching.